Now, now that Nevada has a new Democratic governor and Democrats in control both houses in the state legislature, what will that mean for our children? That is the subject of tonight's Vegas Lost. As all week, we highlight some proposed changes in our state and John Trainer tracking it all. Hi, John. Yeah, lawmakers believe our system is broken. That's the stark fact driving 2019's proposed laws. This week, we'll tell you what those potential changes mean to you. Is Nevada in good position to meet those guidelines, or is there a lot of work to do? It's a lot of work to do. Ask Patricia Fairley about the juvenile justice system, and she is blunt. You look at child welfare and the, ch the juvenile justice system, and it's, the, it's been ignored. Um, both from funding, from technology, from communication. Um, the whole process isn't interconnected, and we're still funding bits and pieces. Um, of different programs trying to make it sustainable and so I'm hoping that they'll step back and say okay we've got to get this streamlined we've got to make it work and everybody's got to be talking to everybody yeah. in including the leaders of these departments and programs. The former state senator recently sat on the Committee on Child Welfare and Juvenile Justice a committee that has introduced six bills to the upcoming legislature that aim to make sweeping and potentially expensive changes to the state system beginning with a statewide audit. Right now we don't understand where our money is currently going um, and we don't understand the benefits of it, which is why we need to have that audit done, a full audit through the whole entire state. The bills fairly and the other Democrats and Republicans who sat with her author do a number of things. First, audit the justice system. Right now, the county, the state's correctional department, and the state's Department of Child and Family Services all handle youth justice. They all have separate budgets, and there is no computer system linking them together. It's hard to know what, if anything, is working. They also want to build new detention centers to house young offenders separate from adult inmates and closer to their families. On the horizon, new federal regulations under the JJDPA. If they can't meet those, the state loses federal money. Now, we asked Fairly what she thinks Sisolak is going to be different than, or how she thinks Sisolak is going to be mm -hmm. different than Sandoval. She thinks because Sandoval was a federal judge and Sisolak was a local county commissioner, maybe these issues will get a little bit more attention mm -hmm. as he really sees that connection to local government. All right, something to watch when they all get together here. It won't be too yeah, long. Exactly. Thank you. Hey, and if you have an idea for John and our Vegas Lost series, you can email those over to John at news3lv.com. In just a few minutes, he'll be logging on to News 3's Facebook page to take your questions and your comments live. We always love hearing from you.